up YouTube, Sneakerhead Dom here, coming back at you with another video. It's been a while since I uh, recorded a video, a lot of you don't know, uh, but I was on vacation, I went on an Alaskan cruise and then I went uh, to Seattle and California, I was gone for about two weeks, so that's, that's honestly why I didn't do any videos, I didn't bring my camera. And also, if you follow my Instagram uh, page, uh, Sneaker at Dom, while I was on the trip, you would have seen that I hadn't posted anything, like, pretty much the entire time, so two weeks. I think I posted one or two pictures. Um, so, if you're wondering why I hadn't posted in a while, that's why. I just got back to posting, though, on Instagram, and I'm hoping to get back to videos. We'll see what happens. I have a lot of... Um, a lot of stuff to do. I, I'm working. I'm in school full time. I'm, uh, I might have two jobs this year. Also, I'm in clubs and just, you know, then my regu regular life, excuse me, hang out with friends and uh, stuff. So, I don't know how often I can do video, but I'll do my best. So, so I want to start off with a uh, story time. While I was on vacation, you know, it's typical to bring luggage, to pack, you know, some clothes and some shoes, you know, whatever you need. What's not typical is your suitcase or the bag that you're bringing all your stuff in. Break. Well, I'm a special kind of person. So, I broke my suitcase, and you're probably like, how do you do that? Oh, there's a number of ways you can do it, but for me... I had a plastic baggie and I was zipping my suitcase and the bag got caught and like an idiot I tried to do it myself and kept pulling on the, the zipper and yeah it got stuck and I'm, I'm so annoyed because it I had to get a belt to fix it and it was just it was upsetting anyway I'm losing my train of thought, but, um, so, I got a belt, everything was good, for the whole trip it stayed, you know, perfectly intact, and this was about halfway through the trip when I had to figure out what I was going to do, um, but I got a belt and everything was fine, I get all the way home to, well, I get to Chicago Hair Airport, uh, three hours away from where I live, and I take my suitcase off, everything's good, I'm walking down the, you know, uh, past the luggage area. Uh, I stop for a second, and all of a sudden we realize my suitcase has come undone. I just thought it might have come undone. I just, you know, had to fix it, so I did. Everything looked like it was still there, so I go home, unpacking, got all my shoes, all my clothes, get down to the last couple shoes, and I realize. Something's not right. What's not right? Is I have this shoe. But only this shoe. And I don't know about you, but when I go on vacation or I go somewhere or I wear a pair of shoes, I usually have more than one. I mean, a pair means two. But yet, here I am with one shoe. And you're thinking, well, Dom, how does that happen? Oh, I don't know. Probably because my suitcase was such crap that it was, it just broke. It opened up and I didn't, I just didn't, I don't know how you don't realize it, but I didn't realize it until I got home. So I'm left with one shoe. I call the airport, I call Lost and Found, and they tell me, oh yeah, we have Lost and Found, but we don't keep clothes items. We throw them out. Okay, so you throw nice looking $100 basketball shoes away, which I didn't think, but you know, these aren't worth probably 100 in my eyes, but you get what I'm saying. They sold for 115 so you just get rid of shoes? Well, okay. I was just so annoyed. So I had to go on eBay, picked up another pair. 
I'm, I was so mad because I paid $80 for the shoe, right? But I only need one, but of course they don't sell them like that because most people are idiots like me and don't lose one shoe. If they're going to lose a shoe, lose them both. So then it'd be like, oh, you know, I lost two shoes, so I can go and buy a pair of shoes and, you know, I'm replacing both of them. But no, I'm basically replacing one shoe. So now, I'm going to grab this real quick. This is a new pair. I already checked them. They're legit. They're, I mean, I don't really have very many fake pairs of these because anyone can get these, but... These are the new shoes. This is the old shoe. Same size. Same, same everything. This one is in still great condition. I would give it 9, 8 out of 10. So I'm left with three shoes. If you saw my Instagram um, post from the other day, then you already know this story. So why are you watching it? I don't know. Anyways, as I said in the video, I have three shoes, so if you want to buy this one shoe, because I'm not selling these, you can buy it. I will give you a good price. I've already had offers, believe it or not. I don't know why people need one shoe, but maybe they're like me and they lost a darn shoe at the airport. So, just talking about this makes me so mad. As a sneakerhead, as someone into shoes, this is just like one of those things that is, is your, one of your worst nightmares as a secret now. Of course, there's many more things, you know, that could be worse in the world. But for a sneaker, this is a big thing, losing shoes. And, you know, but like I said, worse things can happen. So I'm thankful that, you know, nothing else, you know, anything well, bad happened. They're just shoes at the end of the day. Um, it's just, it's annoying, so. So that's my story time. I'm feeling that this is not the last time that you're going to see a story time like this. Because honestly, I know who I am. And I'm definitely someone who would do this again. Not on purpose, obviously, but. Yeah. So. Hope you liked it. If you didn't. Okay. Leave a like. Comment, subscribe, say whatever you want to say because I'm sure you have a lot to say because I have a lot to say. Um, but that's it for today's story time. I'll have another video posted soon. Uh, please check out my Instagram channel, Instagram page at Sneakerhead Dom. Um, I'm at 9,200 and like something, so, so, uh, not subscribers, uh, followers. And on here, almost 300 subscribers, so let's try and get it to 300, and let's follow my page. Um, hasn't been doing very good lately. You know, it's it's gone down. The engagement of the pictures hasn't been as great as it used to be, but that's also because I've been lazy. I need to get back to work. Uh, you know, after school and work, of course, I need to focus on, you know, those things, of course, but after that, i got to focus on my shoes. Uh, my shoe game, my YouTube channel, my Instagram page, so we got a lot of cool things coming. Uh, I think you're going to like it, and if not, like I said, that's fine. There's plenty more secret channels or YouTube channels to follow, um, to subscribe to, but if you are someone who likes these videos and you're subscribed to me, I appreciate it. I mean, that's what it's about. It's not about me, it's about the subscribers. It's as a lot of big YouTube channels say, um, we're, you know, we're doing this together. We're trying to get big together. So, 300 subscribers would be nice. So, let's try to get it to that. And thank you for watching this video. And, uh, I'm out.